cow. As a general rule, everyone knows two to 2.5 grams per kilo of body weight is the target. Now to layer on top of that, the importance of protein. If we are managing our caloric level, our caloric intake, we also have to be cognizant of the fact that protein is what is gonna support our growth and repair. Protein is what is gonna support our body's ability to maintain the muscle that we have built within the gym. So we have to make sure that we are maintaining the right amount of protein within that caloric level, within that, um, within that our daily diet to support the physique that we've built and that we want to achieve as well. Now, as a general rule, everyone knows two to 2.5 grams per kilo of body weight is the target. That really is non-negotiable within, within a calorie deficit as well. We have to maintain that protein count if we are serious about maintaining our muscle mass. It's also worth just touching on that the timing of that protein is important. If you are someone that does intermittent fasting, if you are someone that approaches their dieting in a way where they cram an eating window into a really small period of time, you are also gonna set yourself back and put yourself at a disadvantage when it comes to maintaining your muscle mass. Your body can only absorb so much protein in a certain period of time. It is capped. If you go over the threshold, I think the, the science is something around 80 grams per meal. It might even be less than that. If you eat too much protein in a shorter period of time, your body is going to cycle that excess out as waste, even if you need it, even if you are used to having that amount spread over a larger period of time. A small, your intake should be broken up and, in, and consumed every two to three hours. That is optimal. Small, consistent, frequent protein to fuel your muscle and fuel your repair.